Did you find what you need, Morrigan? I can match the Darkspawn Magister's dragon. Yes. As for matching Corypheus, that is up to you, Inquisitor. I'm eager to try. Then all that remains is to find Corypheus before he comes to us. We've been looking for his base since all this began, with no success. His dragon must come and go from somewhere. Oh, what about the Deep Roads? We could send word to Orzammar, a higher envoys too. It seems Corypheus is not content to wait. He's in the Valley of Sacred Ashes. You either close the breach once more, or it swallows the world. But that's madness. Wouldn't it kill him as well? Inquisitor, we have no forces to send with you. We must wait for them to return from the Arbor Wilds. I must go now, before it's too late. Where is your maker now? Call him. Call down his wrath upon me. You cannot, for he does not exist. I am Corypheus. I shall deliver you from this lie in which you linger. Bow before your new god and be spared. Never! As you wish. I knew you would come. It ends here, Corypheus. And so it shall. Successful in foiling my plans, but let us not forget what you are a thief in the wrong place at the wrong time an interloper a gnat We shall prove here once and for all which of us is worthy of godhood I don't believe in gods
Clever of you. It will avail you nothing. You will fall as a warning to those who oppose my divine will. Your blood is engorged with decay. Your race is not a race. It is a mistake. You dare to touch an avatar of divinity. Let the skies boil! Let the world be rent asunder!
not allow you this victory. You and all the heathen barbarians shall burn. The breach is getting bigger! It will endanger the world! We must stop this! of the Golden City, cross the ages. Dumat, ancient ones, I beseech you. If you exist, if you ever truly existed, aid me now. Solus, the orb. I know you wanted the orb saved. I'm so sorry. It is not your fault. There's more, isn't there? It was not supposed to happen this way, no matter what comes. I want you to know you shall always have my respect. Inquisitor, are you alive? Victorious, I see. What a novel result. And you survive. Thank the Maker. And it seems the breach... is finally closed. Looks that way. What do we do now? We go back to Skyhold.
moment, my lord. My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. Why would he just leave? Something must be wrong. You said he was upset about the orb. That can't be the only reason. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. I don't see what the fuss is about. Corypheus needed to be stopped. And you are the one who stopped him. Previously, you were an upstart, a fearsome canary in charge of rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature. The ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. Imagining it, or do we have a moment to breathe? Corypheus is definitely gone. I was there. You should hear the stories they're telling in the barracks. The pride in their voices. Some of the soldiers have requested leave to return home, but many would follow us still. You are proof that the Inquisition has made a difference, and that we will continue to do so. I'm glad to hear it. There's still work to be done. For once, I'm willing to leave it till tomorrow. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. Enjoy the party, Inquisitor. All this pomp and ceremony? Can't top seeing that bastard Corypheus burn. No matter what happens to me now, I can say I was there. I helped you bring him down. It took all of us, but we did it. I shudder to think where we'd be without you leading us. So now that you've saved the world, what's next? Hoping to put it all back together? It'll be a huge undertaking. If anyone can do it, you can. If you ever need my help, you know where to find me. I'll be ready. I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. What do you think of This Shit is Weird, the Inquisitor Adar story? It's a working title. I'm glad you've gone back to writing. Well, nothing certain until it's in print. I still haven't decided if I should do this book. As if anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention I'll... Have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the free marches as soon as I get back. The Inquisition could still use you here. That's generous of you, but it's past time that I went back and took care of things in Kirkwall. I'm not leaving for a while yet, though. We'll have to get in at least one game of Wicked Grace before I go. Curly needs to win back some of his dignity. That was the Tevinterest Vint in the history of all Vints. The original mold from which subsequent Vints were cast. And I got to help kick the shit out of him. <laughs> Good times, boss. Good times. There's no one I would have rather had at my side, Bull. Same here. I got to kill another dragon and fight a Vint. Those poor bastards on the ground had demons. It's weird. I joined the Inquisition under orders from the Ben Hasrath and stayed because Corypheus was an asshole. Now that it's done, I've got no orders. 
For the first time in my life, I can go wherever I want. You know I'll find you the best fights. I know, I know. Anyway, the only place I'm going tonight is back for more drinks. To us being alive, and the bad guys not. Ah, Anan. Finally got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. It's the least Andraste's Herald deserves for making things normal again. Except for, you know, everything ever again. I mean, is this for us or for her? Or, you know, him? Because I was there and I still don't know what's real. We did this. There's nothing mysterious about how hard it was to save ourselves. I suppose. Feels weird, though. Nothing out there. I guess you'd know by this point. Seems like you did it right, mostly. Still some things to do yet, right? Because I'm in no hurry to go back to... Val Rio. That's where I was. You mind if people still stay around? Or whatever? This is home, if you'll have it. <laughs> Shut it, you. I cry, I'm punching everyone. All right, enough of that. Is this a party or what? Raise them for winning. Big freaking heroes, Inquisitor. All of us. I was passing through the hall this morning and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything. Such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. That's what happens when you're a hero. Is that so? Must be why it's so unfamiliar. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. You're an example of how noble Tevinter could be. For southerners, maybe. Back home, they'll be rolling their eyes behind their fans. Meanwhile, they'll conveniently forget the bastards who wanted Corypheus ruling us all. I've decided to stay with the Inquisition. For now. You will. Tevinter lacks the presence of my best and only friend. It'll keep. Ugh, I should never have hired new caterers so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry. Nothing's quite as it should be. Uh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. The drinks are fine. It's been a wonderful evening. I hope you're not just saying that. You're not, are you? What a disaster. This money was late, the invitation to our guests barely went out at all, and... and... It was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us! Vedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. We deserve each and every compliment. Yes, I rather think we do. Truly, we will never forget those we lost. But for tonight, to victory. Thank you for letting me stay. Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the Petit Four. I must remember to thank her for the trouble. <laughs> She's been craving the cakes from Madame Lucien's shop for months. This celebration gave her the perfect excuse. To you, Inquisitor, for all you've done.
I can't believe it's over. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry, build the Inquisition from nothing, defeat a creature that would be a god. And yet here we are, celebrating. What's important is that you're here with me. There was a moment after the orb exploded. I thought for certain you were dead. I prayed, don't take him from me, not after all we've been through. And then I saw you through the smoke. Sometimes the Maker is kind. I have news from the Sequester. I believe the Chantry intends to name me Divine very soon. If that happens, I have decided to accept. I wanted you to know. It hasn't happened yet. That's true. We still have time. I think back to how we first met. And here you stand. You are not a believer, I know. Yet you have come to mean so much to us all. And you are the man I love. How did that happen, I wonder? Know that I will always stand with you. So much to do, my dear. Elections for Grand Enchanter must be held, and many of the circles lack even interim First Enchanters. It will take time, and it may not be possible to restore the history that was lost, but we will reinstate the circles. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. I should be out in the field. Tomorrow, my dear. Work can wait. Today, you should take a moment to enjoy your victory. Go mingle. The night is still young. A moment before you go. There's something else I wanted to say. Oh, lead on. What's this about? Everything is about to change. I could be named Divine any day now. You will be pulled in a hundred different directions. Cassandra. No, it's fine. I simply wanted to steal a moment while I still can. It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. 
Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against Chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Remains on her golden throne. The civil war is ended, Gaspar is defeated. But it is said Briala yet plots her return from exile. The Empress now faces a war in the shadows. Elven daggers rule the night, and spies follow her every move. Fortunately for Selene, her gratitude towards the Inquisition has remained strong. Some claim she clings too tightly to the Alliance. Others know it is all that stands between her and defeat. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Hawk is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within? Or something far worse? One month after the defeat of Corypheus, the Chantry names Cassandra as successor to the Sunburst throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she immediately enacts reform, a new Templar order, and a new circle of Magi. The Seekers of Truth are rededicated to their purpose of protecting the innocent. A proclamation of support for the Inquisition is issued, recognizing its service to all of Thedas. Despite her popularity, the new Divine's reforms are seen by some as going too far. A new sect arises, demanding a return to the status quo on threat of war. With the Inquisitor's assistance, negotiations end peacefully, and few concessions are made. Strength and unity within the Chantry are restored in the months following. A golden age, if it can last. Those Templars of the Inquisition who were recruited at Theron Fall Redoubt are left with a choice. Many follow in the footsteps of Commander Cullen, going through the slow and agonizing process of Lyrium withdrawal. This frees many to join the Seekers of Truth under the Divine, a renewed order dedicated to justice for all. And what of the Inquisition itself? Its military might has grown, now rivaling that of kingdoms. Fear of the Inquisition's army has become the true source of its power. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, he has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready. You should not have given your orb to Corypheus. 
Red Wolf. I was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people... They need me. I am so sorry. I am sorry as well.